In this lecture, we will consider power, se power series solution to some special types of second order differential equation. Some special types of second order differential equations play a very important role in engineering modeling which requires some infinite series solutions. The Bessel and Legendre equations, like for instance, occur frequently in connections with uh, spherical problems, electrical fields, vibrations, heat conduction, and many other engineering applications. The Bessel equation and Euler equation are examples of second-order differential equation which have coefficients that are not analytic at x equals 0, which can be found to be a regular singular point. Hence, the solution to these types of differential equations can be derived using the Frobenius method. Bessel functions are radial part no, of the modes of vibration of a circular drum. So we have here an animation of a vibrating drum based on the Bessel uh, eigenfunction. Okay, so this illustrates the solution no, to a Bessel function which uh, represents no, the radial part of the modes of vibration of a circular drum. The, this is the standard equation for the uh, Bessel's function. So n here is a parameter or constant. And for the Legend equation, also n here is uh, a constant, which represents uh, an integer from... 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then for the Euler equation, okay, we have a sub 2, a sub 1, a sub o constants. Coefficients for the, uh, for the second uh, order derivative of y and then first order derivative of y, the coefficient is a1. And then for y, the coefficient is a sub o. Okay, let's start with the solution of Euler's equation. So, any equation of this form is called an Euler equation. Now, you can see that x equals 0 is a singular point. So, which turns out to be a regular singular point. So, you can derive the solution using the Frobenius method. And any solution will be in the form y is equal to x raised to r, okay, which corresponds to the initial equation. So this result into a quadratic equation if we substitute the constants a sub 2, a sub 1, and a sub o. And we get two values for, for r. So if the values of R are distinct, then this is how you will write your uh, solution for the Euler equation. And then in cases of double roots, the general solution will be the following. So, uh, ident for identical roots R, and the second, the second term will now contain the logarithmic function, ln of x. And then for complex roots, 
So you have a plus b plus or minus b i. So the first root is the positive one, and then a minus b i is the second root. And this is how you will write your solution when you have uh, complex roots. Okay, so the power of x here is the real part. Okay, and then for the imaginary part, for the cosine and sine function. So let's take one particular example. So we solve this equation, which is an Euler equation. So you have x squared here, y double prime, x, y prime, and then constant multiplied by y. Okay, so for when a is equal to, as uh, your a here from the equation, a2 is 1, your a1 is 2, and then your a sub o is negative 12. And then we substitute in the initial equation. Okay, so this becomes... Okay, so a2 is 1 here, and then a1 is 2, and then a sub o is negative 12. And then simplifying, that gives you r squared plus r minus 12 equals 0. So, uh, solving the quadratic equation will give you r equals 3 and r equals negative 4. So, we have uh, distinct roots. So, we follow the formula, the first formula for a, uh, a distinct root, so y is equal to c1 x raised to negative 4 plus c2 x cubed.